Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is some crazy stuff, actually. So someone somehow got their hands on some leaked source code for iOS 14. And I don't know if it's just one person who got it or multiple people, but they've been siphoning through this code. And there's been a lot of cool little key little things that they've been able to see. And I'm actually really, really surprised that anybody even got this. I don't even think iOS 13 this happened with. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really too sure. But this is what could potentially be coming with iOS 14. So the other day, we already talked about that the smaller phone call notification or the, or the phone call panel could be coming like we saw before i think this could potentially be the most accurate thing i mean this would probably be one of the biggest changes with ios overall at least in like the last couple of versions besides that volume hut thing a lot of people wanted to see this new type of caller ui thing and with ios 14 we could be seeing somehow some way of this happening so that would be a huge new thing and that would really really be nice and we also saw the new multitasking panel which some other people confirmed and reaffirmed basically and again and this would be a huge thing if they were able to release it and if they were to do it this way i'm pretty sure multitasking and split screen multitasking is going to happen because why would they take just the ipad pads multitasking panel why wouldn't they do that and the split screen multitasking like it doesn't really make much sense to me for that so i'm pretty sure with ios 14 that's going to be happening again no way to verify that but those two things are things that we already kind of saw but i'm just kind of reaffirming in this video so hopefully they happen now this is a new one that i actually was surprised to see and i'm curious to see what the reasoning behind apple is for doing this so basically the ability to see all installed icons at once so they're calling it list view or whatever they're calling it and it's it's basically like you know the app drawer on the android sides you know like when you click that menu bar at the bottom you get to see all your apps or with android 10 or 11 you get to swipe up and you get a basically like a section of all your apps that are installed that could potentially be coming for ios so apparently it's not going to be replacing it you're still going to be able to see your apps basically if you swipe through the pages and everything but i'm sure if you like swipe up or you go through some settings panel or whatever you'll be able to see all your apps at one time which for a lot of people i'm sure is a really cool thing i'm sure a lot of people won't even care but that is just like one of those extra cool little things that if you have the ability to do it i'm sure some people might get some you know accessibility from it somehow and another thing is is that i think maybe it could look something like the apple watches ui you know where they go ahead and like if you click that sidebar on the side and you get listed with all those circular apps on the home screen i think potentially it could look something like that now there's no way to verify this again but if i had to say it that might be something that apple might actually do and that watch os kind of interface would make more sense in this case than maybe even just like an android or kind of a counterpart so that's one thing that i saw that was really really cool now there could be new gesture capabilities as Especially for mouse support they hit a lot about ipad os and how there could be a new mouse support for that specific device so if you go and either scroll things around the the mouse would actually go away for a second and it would actually look more like a mouse apparently so those are cool little things and it's like small little things like that that could really enhance the ipad experience overall there could also be new sound alerts and it's weird because a sound alert you expect it to be like oh like a new ringtone or whatever but in this case it's actually the iphone would be potentially be able to detect fire alarm sirens door knock etc it could be able to detect those specific sounds and again i think that's a really really cool thing you know a lot of devices like the pixel 4 and 4xl they can actually detect now whether you get in a car crash or not and with this i mean this is kind of like a step in the right direction and i think that would be a really cool thing if ios 14 were to support that now a lot of people are saying this i don't know if it's going to be true but potentially new wallpapers wallpapers are something that i really like stock apple wallpapers i use one on my phone i use one but even on my mac os on my imac i use a stock apple wallpaper because they're so nice and having new wallpapers on your device would just be worth it probably in my opinion so so hopefully they drop some fire wallpapers and i'll go ahead and replace mine currently but also alipay support which is alibaba's way of paying on all that stuff so if you want to do that you can be able to do it here and this was surprising a new fitness app could potentially be coming from apple and that's really funny like i saw that i'm like oh why would they do that but then i remembered they had their health app they had their apple watches and all that and that would make a ton of sense so if they were to release an app, some type of fitness app where you can download workouts and stuff i think that would be a pretty popular thing in my opinion now another cool thing is natively within ios or ipad os the apple pencil if you hand write a text or something like that it would go into actual text like actual printed text and we've already seen this with some apps and different things like that but i'm pretty sure it's going to be built into stock ios which would be really really nice 
And the last thing, which a lot of you guys probably already saw, but if you guys don't know, Apple was pretty much working on big over the ear headphones, kind of like Beats, you know, they bought Beats, so they have to go and like use it somehow now. And the new icon leak within iOS 14 shows, you know, the big headphones that they've been working on for the past little while. So this could potentially mean that there is a new set of headphones coming from Apple. They're going to be, I guess, the AirPods Pros, but the bigger ones, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to call them like Beats or something like that, or like Beats 2020 or something, who knows, but that really pretty much covers it up for the iOS side, man. These are some huge leaks that have happened. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more that come out. Still no multitasking verification yet. Hopefully that does come soon, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.